Hello everybody, welcome back to ECU Team channel. My name is Valentin and today I'll show you a quick video of how to open the key fob for Range Rover and replace the battery that is inside of this key fob. And I'm talking about the key that looks exactly like this, with this silver beautiful uh, cover on the side where it proudly says Range Rover on both sides. It's not even uh, it's not even a sticker, it's engraved on the metal. And this side is not plastic, it's metal as well. And by the way, that's why I have a Range Rover picture on the background, so it will kind of support the atmosphere and will probably help you to better understand how we do this tricky process. So now, uh, before we begin, I'd like to show you a couple things and I'll show you quickly how to disassemble this key fob. It's pretty easy and then I'll show you how to replace the battery. So if you look a little bit closer, this key that looks like this, all right, on the side of this metal panel, it has this arrow that kind of points to the direction where you have to uh, probably pull or press this thing in order to open the key. So you just have to keep your thumb on the plastic side right here. And with this finger, you just press to the direction where this arrow is showing, like this. So now the key uh, got opened almost, and you have to carefully pull this metal uh, piece on the side, like this, gently. And inside we see a service key. Uh, so <laughs> this service key is the only key uh, I've seen in my life that looks like a key with no plastic holder or anything like that. Instead, they made this metal piece that will help you to hold the key when you're trying to open the door. And yeah, don't forget with this particular key, you can open your trunk doors and glove box, uh, but you won't be able to start your car, obviously. So uh, I, I did everything a little bit quicker than I was supposed to. Take a look how it plays right here and try to remember, I'll tell you why later. So. You take this key, you pull it down like this, uh, and this is a place where the service key is located. And uh, we have one interesting picture right here. I honestly speaking have no idea what this picture means because it's, it's kind of hard, hard to understand, honestly speaking. It's just some sort of an arrow showing you probably the direction of, uh, I don't even know what, but I don't know, but the way how this key fob is supposed to open is that you have to use the service key and you see a hole right here where you have to insert the service key like this. Then you pull this metal thing on the side so it will be easier to grab this key and uh, apply some force gently like this. Like you're trying to open the door or close the door and the key pops up. So. Um, you have to carefully take this plastic part like this with two fingers and slightly, slightly and very gently trying to open the key. Be careful because if you apply more force than it's supposed to be, this key literally splits apart and you won't be able to find parts, especially if you do this somewhere outside. So you gently remove this plastic cover that has nothing inside. You you leave it alone, and inside we have the actual battery, we have the entire board, and we have this piece that, that's not holding uh, anything, it just protects the uh, antenna inside of this key. So I'll, I'll take it out for you. This is an antenna, okay? And this plastic stays right here like this. So if you open this key fast without holding it properly, all the internals just fly away uh, all over the place and this is definitely something you don't want to mess with so be careful when you open this key and now you can remove this plastic so it won't bother you because now we have to take the battery out and this is another tricky thing you won't be able to take the battery that easy because this metal um, holder is holding this battery pretty pretty hard and you have to you have to you have to be careful when you remove this battery i'll show you how i do this and probably the same way you can do that yourself um, but i take this key once again it's a service key and this battery has a um, couple sides where the distance between the holder and the actual battery is slightly 
uh, bigger, so it's enough space to fit the key in between. So um, I, I try to place this key right here, like this. Uh, like this. And move the battery to the front, like that. So now this key just move the battery out of the holder and you can remove it manually, easy. And this battery, um, it's a coin battery, CR2032. CR2032, three volt battery. So after you get a new battery, you definitely wanna make sure that you put it back properly, exactly the same way as you took it out. And uh, as any other key I showed you before, this one is not an excep exception. It has this plus sign right here. So this plus sign indicates the side um, of the plus sign on the battery. So it's a positive side, positive side supposed to match the positive side inside of the uh, fob. Otherwise, if you put it uh, backwards, it won't work. So don't do that. Make sure you put it back properly. So we take a brand new battery, CR2032, three volts, and we insert it exactly the same way as we took it out. But for that, we don't need the service key. You can do this manually. It slides back in pretty easy. Looks like this now. You definitely don't want to forget this cover. It's a plastic cover, but still it's supposed to be here for a reason. So as soon as you install everything back, you take the other part of the plastic, this one, and uh, now you want to make sure that this side where the actual um, key fob holder is located, you want to you want to make sure that you put this plastic exactly at the same side and match those clips. So after you match the key uh, from the top with the key uh, on the bottom, you just want to apply a little bit of a force, not too much, to make sure you hear the click and the key fob closes like that. Hear the sound? Now it's closed. So we have new battery inside. Now we take the service key. You make sure you close this key like this and insert it this way. See where the holder is? So the part of the key with the engraving goes inside first, like this. All right, now the key stays there firmly and we take the last part, which is this metal cover with the Range Rover engraving and we carefully place this arrow next to the picture on the key. Uh, but uh, you want to make sure that this arrow goes a little bit higher because instead of us pulling this key um, down, like when we did when we tried to open this key, now we have to pull this key backwards in order to close this panel. So you place the key like this, you see, where the drawing is on top of the uh, metal part. And you just apply a little bit of a force to make sure that this cover closes like that. Boom, the key is closed. Now you can use your key. Now it's a key with new battery and uh, definitely it's going to work if you did everything properly. That's it. So if this video was helpful, make sure you share this video with your friends. Make sure you leave a uh, comment down below if you have any questions and uh, leave the like button or press the like button. Better press the like button. And see you in the next one. Bye.